Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are traveling to Land's End. But first, we are here at Sutro District, which is uh, like a park recreational area. We're just gonna walk for a little bit and then uh, we're gonna make our way to Land's End. So this right here guys, is Point Lobos. And I don't know if you can see down there, those are the Sutro baths. And uh, over here, over there, there's like a cliff house and that's where you can buy like souvenirs and stuff like that. Um, but this is a very cool point as you can see. The main plan right now is to go ahead and go to the cliff house, uh, check the souvenir place uh, real quick. And then uh, right now we're on the lookout here this is a lookout point uh, towards Sutro baths and uh, after this we're just gonna go ahead and head down to look uh, to take a closer look at the Sutro baths and then uh, we're gonna come up again and then head to Lance End so we are walking along the lookout place here you can get a good vantage point of the cliff house over there as well as Sutro baths down below here I think my friend Emma found a replica of this place as you can see we are here we're here at the lookout point sutra bats are down below and then the the cliff house is right here so this is a visitor center we're gonna check out any souvenirs we're doing this before because we're moving to the is it so the yeah we're on the opposite way to the west so we want to check this out first and here at the visitor center you can find like all of the different uh, souvenirs and uh, you can basically find the same things like all over the city especially Chinatown and other uh, like national park places they have very similar things so this is how the cliff house looked back in the day it looks like a freaking mansion right now we are done uh, going to the visitor center to get some souvenirs my friend Emma got some uh, really cool ones for when he goes back to Italy feels really cool like just walking and having like an amazing view to your right would you say that Emma would you say that so we just found like a tiny uh, it's like a corner and it's like kind of like a very cool overlooked place uh, let me show you real quick and so here where my friend is taking pictures uh, you can see it's a very cool vantage point of the Sutro Baths over there, um, which after uh, we finish visiting the Cliff House, I wanna tell you a story about this place. Uh, just hold on for a second. It's uh, something that I haven't told a lot of people, but I wanted to tell you guys. And to the left of the Cliff House, you can also see a very good view of Ocean Beach. Let me show you that right now. That's Ocean Beach. That's one of the most touristy beaches here in San Francisco. They do bonfires, they do events, they do a lot of things. So definitely a place that you should check out if you ever come to the city. So I was a little excited about this place, but it turns out that it's only a restaurant and a gift shop. I think I saw a gift shop on the other side. So we're probably gonna go there, check it out. Uh, but then we're gonna head back to the Sutro Baths to check those out. So we went to the Cliff House, uh, honestly uh, it wasn't what we expected, it was actually a restaurant and the gift shop was so small that it's not even worth like going in, like when you have the visitor center right there and they have a lot more stuff, it's not even worth going to the gift shop over there. But anyways, right now we are heading to the Sutro, Sutro Baths and uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little story what happened to me. So story time. The story that I want to tell you guys is uh, the day that I almost died or nearly got like like really injured when I came here uh, last summer. So I remember this incident like it was yesterday. Uh, we came with a group of friends from my internship and we were thinking of exploring the city and we thought that this place was a, a really cool uh, thing to do together. So we came here because we wanted to go into the cave. There's a cave in the side of the uh, like little cliff over there. And uh, we went inside the cliff and it was pretty cool. I was taking a lot of pictures. Then I wanted to take pictures of the sea and like the rocks 
that are right there. So I went down there and uh, I was getting ready to take some more pictures, right? And as I'm taking pictures, I hear my friends coming out of the cave and they are calling my name and I'm like, oh, I say hi. And then I turn back and then uh, as I'm about to take the pictures, I hear something fall like really close to me and I thought it was one of my friends just throwing like a rock next to me so that I would get scared or like to get my attention so I turn back and I look at them and I ask them like oh it's like kind of asking with my facial features if they were the, the ones who threw the rock and they told me no and I was like what, what the heck and as I'm thinking that another rock falls super close to me and I'm like whoa 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 like what, what's going on like are rocks falling from the little cliff thing and uh they were but they were not just falling on their own someone was throwing rocks at me from the top of the little cliff um, at that point I got kind of scared and then I turned back I turned to the to the top of the little cliff and I see some people there and I'm like what the hell you know like with my body language I asked them like wait what the heck is going on like why are you tr throwing rocks at me but they tell me or they uh, they signal to the back of them and they're like it's not us it's someone that is like ran away or left already and the rocks guys they were not small so even if if they didn't like kill me per se they would have like knocked me out or like i would have been very seriously injured and i was so scared after that like i just ran towards my friends and uh they just told me if everything was okay and everything but i was still like freaking out and <laughs> i remember i called my dad and i told them and it was just a, a bad experience, you know? Like you never expect that anywhere, especially in like a super touristy place. It's like things like that can actually happen. It was just a very scary experience. And uh, for me, it's really hard coming back here and like thinking back at that time because it was something that like seriously traumatized me for a little bit. I, like I'm still scared of going there till this day, but um, I just wanted to come here and uh, spend some time with my friend and uh, I thought it was a good idea to uh, tell that story uh, since I haven't told it to a lot of people. But yeah, that's the story of how, how I almost died here in San Francisco last summer. So these right here are the Sutro Baths and uh, if we keep walking over there, that's the cave that I went into. So we're gonna go into the cave and then we're gonna come back and I'll show you guys where I was standing back then. Um, but yeah, we're gonna explore the place where it almost happened. We're going in and checking out. Uh, at first it's super dark, but as soon as we get to the other side, uh, you can see uh, a very cool view. And it just looks like very like alien. It looks like we're in an alien world. It looks pretty cool. Oh, look at this. That's crazy, I thought it was gonna like jump into us or something. And just like that we made it to the other side. Look at this view. I think uh Whoa that looks amazing. I was about to say like the little cave that we saw over there was like better than this, but this I wasn't expecting that. And you can actually feel the water, right? Emma <laughs> like it falls on you. So yeah, that's what it is. It's a pretty cool place to come visit again. No, it wasn't as good as the other one, but uh, yeah, it's a very cool place. Uh, it makes you feel like you're like in another planet or something. Heading back, uh, we have to jump through these little like puddles of mud. Oh! But I can see the light. Emma, don't go into the light. No, don't do it. No! Sometimes I think like the wave is gonna come all the way here and. This is also a very touristy place. A lot of people come here to take pictures and just to look around. Um, I see that woman right there, she's taking pictures. Very Instagram worthy, won't you say, Emma? The key here is to watch your step. I definitely don't want to make this a blooper. That would suck if one of us fell into, into this like murky water. <laughs> and boom, you can go and see this place. Very cool, very cool. Just now we felt the wrath of nature. A wave attacked us from uh, from nowhere. We were just standing here and my got wet. I don't know if you can see. Like it came from all the way from over there to where we were standing. Like it was trying to get us. 
Coming here was definitely a great idea. I've been enjoying myself and we haven't even gone to Land's End. Like this is just like a very small portion of it. So I wonder what we're gonna find once we go over there. So now let's go to Land's End you guys. Emma, lead us. Lead us to the promised land. Uh, right now we're looking out the sea, admiring the beauty of it. Um, but we're going, I think, we're gonna go and head up and then uh, we're gonna go and start walking towards Lansen and see uh, what we can find over there. I think there's like a maze or like a labyrinth made out of rocks. So I definitely wanna check that out. Um, and uh, we'll see what we do from there. And we made it to the labyrinth. This is what, what I was hoping to see. So I'll go up right now and show you like how it looks from from up there. But right now I want to go through it and see if I can I can uh, succeed in this small challenge. Okay, I'm doing this. Let's go. Wow. This is taking longer than I expected. Oh. oh no, they're making me go all the way back. They're playing with my feelings. I'm here. Honestly, I thought it was gonna get to the other side, like from that side to this side, but no, it's just like getting to the middle. So I'm here and I made it. Challenge accomplished. We just made it to the very top, Emma too. And uh, I feel like I'm on top of the world. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge over there. And what I wanna do is see or take a look at the labyrinth from the top view. That's what I'm about to show you right now. Hey there you guys, we just made it to the end. Mission accomplished. Like I said before, oh, like I said before, thank you guys for coming with us. I really enjoyed today. Um, even though I live in San Francisco, I've never been to some of the places that I uh, visited today, which was really interesting. Um, definitely a good way to get out of the, of the routine. And would again say that I recommend it uh, if you ever are here in San Francisco. Anyways, you guys, that's the end of this video. Always remember to be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next time.